Good morning, students. Can you hear my? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So, uh, I think through yesterday, through WhatsApp, I gave one problem yesterday. I think uh, it is not uh, visible. Uh, okay. So, I, I will read the problem. Uh, problem is a uh, yeah, pentagon is formed by placing an isos isosceles triangle uh, okay uh, okay i think uh, okay yes the pentagon is formed by placing an placing, this is a rectangle so uh, here there is an isosceles triangle. This is uh, isosceles. Uh, okay. Okay. The question is, uh, if your pentagon has a fixed uh, perimeter P, okay, find the lengths of the sides of the pentagon that to maximize the uh, area of the pentagon. Okay. Now I will take. Uh, Rectangles, the length of the rectangle is x and y is uh, the breadth is y, and uh, I'll take this length is z. So this is z length, this is also z. Okay, and then I divide like this. So this is x by 2. This is x by 2. Okay, uh, the area of uh, the pentagon is. Uh, is equal to area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle. So area of the rectangle is x y plus you have two uh, two triangles. So two area is uh, one by two base into height. Okay, base into height. So base is x by two. Into height, so in the, this is a right angle triangle. So this is side is z, this side is x by two means this is a root of root of x square minus sorry z square minus x by two whole square. Z square minus x by two whole square. Okay, this is your uh, area of the pentagon. So now 2, 2 gets cancelled. So xy plus x by 2, okay, x by 2 into root of, this is uh, x square by 4. So if you take LC of 4, 4 is a square minus x square by 4. Or, or xy plus uh, 1 by 2, 2 into 2, okay, root 4 is 2. So I will take this x in, inside the uh, root. Okay, so 4 x square is a square minus x power 4. So this is the area of the pentagon. And uh, what is the perimeter? What is the perimeter of the pentagon? X plus y two uh, y plus two z. Yeah, x plus two y plus two z. Okay, now from this we can form the uh, Lagrangian function G. Okay, what well, G equal to A plus uh, lambda times uh, lambda times phi. Phi is uh, P minus this one. Okay, well. so okay, so I will okay I will write directly. 
xy plus 1 by 2 to root of uh, 4 x square is a square minus x power 4 plus uh, lambda times t minus of t minus of x plus uh, 2y plus 2z okay so this is a function the remaining part you need to do it so i will not do it but i will show the how to do it okay uh, i think you know that next you need to find gx is equal to 0 gy equal to 0 okay gz equal to 0 and g lambda equal to 0 so uh, okay so here uh, here everything is here here the function g so gx is equal to 0 uh, uh similar gy equal to 0 gz equal to 0 and then and then uh, okay okay g lambda equal to 0 this is g lambda equal to 0 so four equations one two three four equations okay uh, from the second equation i got uh, x is equal to 2 lambda from the second equation i got x is equal to 2 lambda so now i am going to substitute uh, x is equal to 2 lambda in the third equation the third equation i have x and z I have only x and z and lambda. Instead of if substitute x is equal to 2 lambda, I will get z in terms of lambda. Okay, I will get z in terms of lambda. So 2 implies I have this. If you substitute 2 in 3, 3 implies z equal to 2 by root 3 into lambda in terms of lambda. If you substitute x value and z value in 1, 1. What is 1? 1 is uh, you have uh, x, y, z and lambda. Okay, So you will get uh, y in terms of lambda after simplification. So what is uh, y? Okay, y in terms of lambda is y equal to uh, lambda into 1 plus uh, root 3 by root 3. Okay, it is, it is here. So here x in terms of lambda, here is that in terms of lambda, similarly I have y in terms of lambda. Okay, now you have equation 4, that is a perimeter equation, that is p equal to what? x plus 2y plus 2z. So in that equation you should substitute and get lambda in terms of p, lambda in terms of p. So lambda in terms of p. Once you got the lambda in terms of p, substitute the value of lambda in x okay x x is equal to 2 lambda you know that so instead of lambda you should substitute this one similarly in y similarly in z so this is the method so the answer is also here okay but uh, i gave the idea you try yourself and check the answer okay i think some of the students i think karthik again or ashish to me i don't know solve this problem but uh, still i am not checking because i have some other work Okay, and um, even Manigandan four days before solved, uh, I think four problems. Still, I'm not checking. Okay, okay, at least uh, maybe I will check later. Uh, now I'll go to I, I'm going to give one more problem, and then I'll go to differential equations. Uh, second problem. A company has, please write down, a company, any doubts the previous problem, if you have any doubts you can ask to me the previous problem. A company has uh, determined Determined that, determined that its uh, production its production production, okay, uh, production level Level uh, 
the company has determined that its protection level is given by the is given by the Cobb Douglas function C O B B E O U Cobb Douglas function ना बाय मरता तो कुछ रहता है ठीक है बाप सो क्वेश्चन बाय पर इतनी इंद्र ऐना बनता है ना ओके सो एफ ऑफ एक्स का माव वाई इक्वल टू 2.5 एक्स पावर 0. और फाइव इनटू वाई पावर 0. फाइव फाइव दिस इज़ द इज़ीएस्ट पाल ओके बट मे बी थ्रेटनिंग यू Okay, if you see this uh, problem, okay, that x represent that x represents uh, the total number of represents the. Total number of number number of labor hour labor hour labor hours in one year in one year and y represent. Y represents uh, the total capital. The total capital input, capital input for the company for the company. Suppose, uh, suppose one unit of labor cost, labor cost forty dollar, and One unit of one unit of uh, capital cost fifty dollar. Use the sometimes they don't give the method of Lagrange. Use the method of, but here I am giving the giving. Okay, use the method of Lagrange's multipliers. Okay. Uh, method of Lagrange multipliers uh, to find the maximum value of multipliers uh, to find the. Find the maximum value of f of x comma y. I think you know the function f of x comma y, so I don't want to write again. Subject to the subject to a budgetary constraint of subject subject to a budgetary constraint.
uh, 5 lakh dollar per year so this is the question okay sometimes they don't uh, give okay they use the method of, okay just to, to find the maximum value of f of x and y is subject to the constraint okay so now uh, you will tell how to formulate this problem so once you formulated this problem problem is over only formulation here the function f is given directly it is given f of x comma y equal to uh, 2.5 into x power 0.45 into y power 0.55 okay but the constraint is not given directly so you should, okay similar type of problem may come okay so that's why uh, you need to practice uh, okay like the problem like this so x is uh, x denote the total number of labor hours in one year okay. x denotes total number of number of that is given the question total number total number of labor hours in one year similarly and then what is y y denotes the capital input for the company capital input for the company okay so now one unit of labor is given one unit of uh, labor what is a uh, 40 dollar 40 dollar one unit of capital cost capital cost is uh, 50 dollar Okay, so what is the constraint? What is the constraint? 40x uh, plus 50y? Uh, yes, 40x plus 50y. Okay, so that is equal to. Okay. Now, uh, your function, Lagrange's function g equal to, what is g? g equal to f y, f is what? 2.5 x power 0 0.45 y power 0 0.55 plus uh, lambda times plus lambda times uh, 40x plus 50y minus uh, so this is your Lagrangian function so find gx is equal to 0 implies gx is equal to 0 implies uh, 0 0.45 to Point, sorry, 2.5 I think you can try now okay into x power minus 0 0.55 is 0 0.45 minus 1 so e power 0 0.55 plus 40 lambda equal to 0 similarly gy equal to 0 implies G 
zero y equal to zero implies uh, please check it uh, 2.5 into 0 0.55 into x power 0 0.45 into y power uh, minus 0 0.45 into x power 0.45 plus 50 lambda equal to 0 okay so if you multiply 4.5 into 2.5 please tell what what you will get you should calculate it do it and tell 1.125 okay x power minus 0 0.55 x power 0 0.55 that's 40 lambda equal to 0. This is 1. Similarly, here if I multiply 2.5 into 0 0.55, we get 1.375. Check on you. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, x power 0 0.45 e power minus 0 0.45 plus uh, 50 lambda equal to 0 this is 2 this is 2 and g lambda equal to 0 implies uh, uh, 40x plus uh, py So this is equation three. So now, now okay, from first equation, what is minus lambda? Minus lambda equal to one point one two five into x power minus zero point five five to y power zero point five five divided by 40. This is 4. 1 implies 2 implies again minus lambda equal to 1.375 x power 0 0.45 y power minus 0 0.45 divided by 50 yeah, divided by 50 this is uh, 5. So, I am not, okay, either you can equate, otherwise, otherwise you can divide, whatever it may be, okay. Uh, either you can equate or you can divide. So, if I divide 4 by 5, left hand side is minus lambda divided by minus lambda is 1. Mm, 1.125 into x power minus. Power 0 0.55 divided by 40 into 50 divided by 1.375. X power 0 0.45. Y power minus 0 0.45 okay now uh, so, so the next step I will write to you I will write so you need to find uh, uh, either uh, you'll find uh, either y in terms of uh, x or x in terms of y okay well, so I will tell you this is equal to Cross multiply 4 by 5. Uh, 
40 divided by 50, that is a 4, 4 by 5. It's a 4 by 5 equal to 1.125 or by 1.375 into y by x y by x 0 0.55 into y by x 0 0.45 so y by y by y by x I am uh, this y by x 0 0.55 so y by x 0 0.45 so this is 0 0.8 equal to uh, 1.125 by 1.375 into 0 by x whole power 1 so from this, uh, what is y? y equal to uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 to 1.375 by 1. Uh, 1.375 into x. So please tell. If you simplify this, sir, is the answer x is equal to 5625? Uh, okay, answer x is equal to 5625. Uh, okay, correct, correct. Okay, yeah, and y is equal to 5500. Yes, correct, correct. Uh, then now uh, maximum protection. I uh, uh, the maximum, maximum production, production I got something 13,889 13, points on point. Uh, yeah, uh, 13,890 uh, nearly. Okay. So 13,890.8. 13,890. Uh, 13,890. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. okay, good. Okay. I think uh, still we are. I am uh, here this step. Okay, I need to finish it. So 9.778 Okay. I don't know exactly. 0 0.9777. 7. I will put 7. Okay. Now, once you got uh, the value of y in terms of x, you can, you can substitute uh, the value of y where? Uh, in the equation 40x plus 50y this equation so substitute here and get the value of x x is uh, 5625 x is 5625 okay now maximum protection huh? maximum protection equal to f of x comma y maximum production of f of x comma y okay of f of x comma y equal to one three eight nine zero okay so labor hours okay labor hours equal to five six two five that is x capital input that is y equal to 5500. So, so, this is the final answer. So, uh, I think I gave uh, two problems. Uh, I think two problems. One is uh, uh, golf. I think two problems are related to golf and Lagrange's multipliers. But uh, uh, in the, I think the two problems are slightly uh, different problems. I think the function is given. Uh, function is given. So you need to form the constraint again uh, in the first problem. In the second problem, again the function is given. Uh, instead of the constraint, 
द रेंज ऑफ एक्स इज गिवन एक्स 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 रेंज एंड वाई रेंज ओके वा सो ओके वी विल डिस्कस दैट प्रॉब्लम इधर ऑन मंडे और ट्यूसडे ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस in two differential equations i think uh, most of you studied uh, differential equations uh, in higher higher secondary level or plus 1 or plus 2 level i think in plus 2 so anybody don't study the differential equations in plus 2 level andhra students i think uh, what about uh in kaya ever be studied there is no reply means ever be studied okay so differential equation a yeah, differential equation is an equation involving one dependent variable one dependent variable and its uh, derivative with respect to one or more independent variable. okay so here differential equations are of two types uh, one is ordinary differential equation another one is a partial differential equation so partial differential equation you studied in the fourth semester so now we are going to deal only with uh, ordinary differential equations so this is an example of uh, ordinary differential equation dy by dx plus 4y equal to tan x this is the first order differential equation uh, d square y by Uh, dx square minus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y equal to e power minus 2x. This is the second order differential equation. And the third one, x into dou by dou x plus y into dou by dou y equal to zero. This is the partial derivatives are occurs here. So and then this is the PDE. Okay, first order of PDE. Okay, this is the second order of PDE. Okay, here uh, x is the Independent variable. In the first first problem. X is a x is a independent variable. Y is a dependent variable. Y is a dependent variable. But here in equation three, equation three, u is a dependent variable, and uh, more than one independent variable. X is x and y are are uh, independent variable. In partial derivatives, you have more than one independent variables. Okay. so and then okay so next uh ordinary differential equation and ordinary differential equation is an equation involving one dependent variables and its derivative with respect to only one independent variable okay and its derivative with respect to only one independent variable and then order and degree of the differential equation the order of the differential equation is the order of the highest order of ordered derivative highest ordered derivative involved in that in the equation okay and then the degree of the differential equation is the degree of the highest order derivative involved in the equation after the equation has been cleared of the radicals and the fractions as far as the derivatives are concerned and then linear and non linear differential equation a linear differential equation is one in which uh, the dependent variable and its derivative with respect to independent variable occur with first degree and no product of and no product of dependent variable okay dependent variable and derivative or product of derivatives occur or product of derivatives occur 
So a differential equation is not linear, it is called a non-linear differential equation. So this is an, some example, okay, the first equation. So what is the order and what is the degree here, okay? So order of the differential equation is uh, one and the degree is also dy by dx whole power one. And uh, the order of the differential equation is uh, here two and the degree d square y by dx square whole power one. So degree is one. And the third equation order is two and the degree is one. And the fourth equation order is uh, two, degree is one. And the fifth equation order is two, degree is one. For the sixth equation, uh, order is two, but uh, here have three by two, taking the square on both sides yeah, because we need to remove this uh, fraction. Okay, so if taking square on both sides, we'll get here q, but here we have square. But uh, uh, this is the highest uh, derivative, so that's why the degree of the this two is order. Okay, well, this two is order, and the d square y by dx square whole square. So that two is the degree. Okay, from equation one to four. From equation one to four is uh, linear differential equation. Okay, well, linear differential equation. Equation five and six are non-linear differential equation. Why it is non-linear? Why? Because here you have y into d square y by dx square okay you can check it here y into d square y by dx square will okay a linear differential equation is the equation uh, is one which a dependent variable and its derivative with respect to the first degree and no product of and no product of uh, dependent variable and derivative okay no uh, uh, product of uh, dependent variable and a derivative occur in the delayed differential equation. But here, so we have the product of uh, uh, dependent variable and derivatives are here. Okay. okay. Now, similarly, here, uh, this is uh, non linear because here we have dy by dx whole square. The term dy by dx whole square come. So, product of derivative, okay, or product of uh, derivatives should not occur in, line, in the linear differential equation. Product of that is a dy by dx whole square is nothing but dy by dx into dy by dx. Okay, that's why uh, equation 5 and 6 are non linear differential equations. Okay, so. Solution of uh, differential equation. Solution of differential equation. The solution of uh, differential equation is a relation between is a relation between the dependent and uh, independent variables. The relation between dependent and the independent variables, not containing uh, derivatives or differentia differentials, which satisfies the equation. And the solution of the differential equation is also known as uh, integral of the differential equation. Okay, you should uh, sometimes they will ask find the integral of the uh, differential equation. So that is nothing but a solution of the differential equation. Okay, general solution or complete uh, integral. Uh, the solution of ordinary differential equation, which contains uh, which contains as many arbitrary constant as the order of the equation is called general solution. So uh, the, uh, the solution of the ordinary differential equation which contains as many arbitrary constants as the order of the equation, which is called the general solution. So solve your differential equation mean find, find the general solution, find the general solution. Okay, and then the general solution does not mean that it includes all possible solution of the differential equation. Okay, there may exist other solution which cannot be deduced from the general solution. Such solutions not containing 
arbitrary constants are called singular solution okay singular solution you can't obtain the from the uh, general solution but that is also a solution of the differential equation and which does not contain the arbitrary constants so formation of uh, differential equations so a differential equation is formed by eliminating arbitrary constants from an ordinary uh, relation between the variables so i think uh, uh, you, uh, you also studied the formation of differential equation okay suppose uh, uh, you have the so, uh, equation y equal to a into e power 2x where a is a arbitrary constant that is arbitrary constant if you differentiate with respect to x so dy by dx is equal to a into e power 2x into 2 so a into e power 2x is nothing but y so dy by dx is equal to 2 into y so dy by dx minus 2y equal to 0 so this is an ordinary differential equation of the first order okay, suppose if you have the equation like this so y equal to a into e power x plus b into e power minus x so form the differential equation here you have two arbitrary constants okay now if you differentiate with respect to x you will get a dy by dx is equal to a into e power x uh, plus if you differentiate e power minus x you will get minus uh, uh, e power minus x if you differentiate again a into e power x plus b into e power minus x this is y this is nothing but y so d square y by dx square minus y equal to 0 so uh, this is the second order second order differential equation okay, suppose that now I am going to take this differential equation now I am going to get this solution similarly I am going to take this differential equation I, I am going to get this solution okay so problem number one consider or solve solve the Let's start a differential equation. dy by dx minus uh, minus two one equal to zero. So uh, dy by dx is equal to two y, or you can write. Uh, dy by y two into dx okay if you integrate both side log y equal to two x plus c where c is a uh, arbitrary constant so y equal to p power 2x plus c okay so y equal to e power 2x into e power c so i'll take e power c is a and a equal to e power c so, so this is the solution of the differential equation similarly i will take uh, second order differential equation e square y by e x square minus y equal to 0 so you can I think uh, you can use uh, e by b x is equal to capital D operator capital D or b square y or b square by b x square equal to capital D square so should have this d square y minus y equal to okay uh, so now d square minus one to y equal to zero so 
her axillary inflammation. Axillary inflammation. So instead of D, replaced by M. So M square minus one. Okay. So M square minus one into Y equal to zero. Either M square minus one equal to zero or Y equal to zero. If Y equal to zero, nothing. Okay. Nothing to prove. So that's why I'm assuming M square minus one equal to zero. So this implies uh, M square equal to one and the M equal to plus or minus one. So if M is uh, plus or minus one, the roots are real and distinct. The roots are real and distinct. Now I am going to ask you a question. Uh, okay, how many of them remember the solution when, <coughs> when the roots are real and distinct? Please tell. So, m equal to plus or minus 1 means uh, I am asking the complementary function. The roots are real and distinct. What is the solution? I forgot. Okay, I will tell you. So, uh, if m equal to plus or minus 1, the roots are real in this string. So, suppose the roots are, uh, it have m1 and m2. Okay, wow. m1 and m2. So your solution is a into e power m one x plus b into e power m two x. Are you studying? Are you studied or not? Please respond me. No. Okay. No. Okay. No, I should see. Okay. So now I will. Okay. Later I will explain you how it is come. Okay. So now, uh, suppose the roots are real and distinct. Uh, the solution is of the form a into e power m one x plus b into m two x. Okay, so when I uh, when I am coming to teach uh, second order differential equation, I will tell. Okay, I will tell how it comes. Okay, so now uh, I am going to use this result. So the complementary function is. Whether you studied differential equations. For that question, for, but you don't, nobody is uh, uh, gave me the answer. For what about whether you studied differential equation or not? Yes, sir. Okay. If you studied differential equation, ah, so everybody says yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I am surprised. I don't know. Uh, because you studied a second, I think first order differential equation you studied and second order differential equation also studied. So please check your book, mathematics book, okay, especially in the second order differential equation, how you solve. Okay, you may tell tomorrow whether uh, whether you uh, 
studied uh, if you studied second order differential equation your teacher should ex uh, tell at least uh, this form but maybe they don't give the proof okay at least uh, without uh, without this he will not solve the problem in the second order differential equation okay now anybody says yes this this s is for uh, differential equation okay okay so tomorrow answer for the question okay so complementary function equal to uh, a into okay a into e power e power uh, here m m1 is 1 m2 is minus 1 or you can interchange so a e power x plus b e power minus x okay so the right hand side is uh, zero the right hand side is zero then the, the particular integral we say that the particular integral is equal to zero so the general solution the general solution uh, is equal to y equal to the complementary function plus particular integral so y equal to complementary function is a into uh, e power x plus b into e power minus x so i think already i take uh, this uh, uh, equation from y we derived it secondary uh, second second order differential equation after eliminating a and b a and b we can check it here so from from this equation we derived this now from the second order differential equation i got this solution okay what is time now still i have five more minutes Okay. So differential equation of first order first degree. Differential equations. Differential equations of first order. First order and first degree. differential equation of first order and the first degree. Okay, now here in the syllabus you are going to study Bernoulli's differential equation. Bernoulli's differential equation and exact differential equation. Uh, up to this only for first degree, okay, and uh, differential equations of uh, differential equations of first order and the higher degree. First order and the higher degree. So here we are going to study equations solved for P. Equations solvable for P. Equation solvable for X. Equation X more than R. Okay. Three equation solve for y and the four clarides equation. Okay. So now we are going to at least. Uh, so before these two, uh, first I will tell a uh, variable separable method and homogeneous differential equations. Okay, and then I was going to give 
columns in variable is differential equation. Okay. Uh, so type one. Variable separable method. Variable separable method. I think we studied this uh, on our uh, plus one or plus two level. The general form is uh, the general form is f of x uh, into dx x one side, uh, y other side, g of y dy. Then the solution of this one is you should integrate on both sides, you will get. Okay, so solution, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, there is no need for solve this one. Okay. Power solve 3x 3 into e power x into tan y into dx plus 1 minus e power x into secant square y dy. Is equal to zero. So I am going to write. Uh, uh, sometimes it is possible. Sometimes it is not possible. Okay, here it is possible. The the e power x the tan y dx is equal to minus one minus e power x into secant square y dy. R, uh, R, 3 divided by e, e power x minus 1 minus e power x equal to secant square y divided by tan y dy. Okay, if you integrate both sides, if you integrate both sides, is minus 3 integration e power x divided by 1 minus e power x to dx integration secant square y by tan y. So if you differentiate the denominator, okay, I will write here minus sign inside the if we differentiate uh, the denominator, that is log of 1 minus e power x, you will get minus e power x. Similarly, if you differentiate the tan y, you get secant square root. Uh, okay. So that's why I'm going to write this is a 3 into uh, log of 1 minus e power, uh, log of 1 minus e power x. Okay. So 3, sorry. Integrate it, you will get 3 into log of 1 minus e power x right hand side is uh, log tan y uh, log tan y plus log c so using the properties of logarithm i can write this is log 1 minus uh, e power x whole cube this is log a plus b is log a into b. So, so, so take e power uh, both side rise e power. You we'll get uh, final answer is one minus e power x whole q equal to c into tan y. C into tan y. So this is the general solution of the given problem. The given problem is equation one. Okay, this is uh, one. Okay. Sir. Yeah, please tell. There is one minus, no, sir. Yeah, actually, yes, there is a minus. But uh, what I told already, integration f dash of x by f of x to dx. Okay, this is you can write log f of x. Okay, 
So if you differ, if you differentiate one minus e power x, you get what? E, you get minus e power x. Is it correct? Yes. Sir. Okay. So that means here half of x, a dash of x. So then we write this is equal to log of f of x. So that's why integration of minus e power x by 1 minus e power x is nothing but log of the denominator. Because uh, log of the denominator is what? 1 minus e power x. If you differentiate this, what you are getting? 1 by e power uh, on 1 by sorry, 1 by 1 minus e power x. Into if you differentiate uh, 1 minus e power x, you will get minus e power x. We are getting the same thing. Sir, is it right if I uh, multiply it with minus and then proceed? Yeah, you can do it. Both, 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 uh, both sides. You should do it both sides. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. I, okay. So I think now time is uh, nearly 9.45. I think we will leave now. Okay, we'll meet again tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.